Howdy all. Well, that time of the year is starting to cool off and um, I don't really want tumblers going in the winter months around here. I, so I just changed out the 12 pounder and I shut her down for the winter. At least wait for some warmer days to come. And I got some goodies out of it. I've been talking about this tumble barrel here for quite a while. I got some pretty nice pieces out of there. It kind of amazed me too. But some of these, they're going to be from all over, so I'm going to put you all over the map. This, like this one here, is from the Upper Yellowstone River in Montana. A little piece of agate. Here's another one I found up there. Don't find a lot of agate up in that area, but I'm going to show you the material that we do find. I'll put him in there. Here's some of the material you find up there. A lot of quartz. A lot of granite, quartz granite mixed, and a little of everything else. Took a nice little tumble. And here's another piece. This is all quartz. Got a nice shine to it. Yeah, I like this stuff. It's all over up there. I was telling the wife that next time I go up, I'm going to probably spend an hour up there and at least get a couple five-gallon pails full of it. Only got like a half an ice cream bucket full this time. I wasn't up there very long, 15 minutes, but it was a little warm. And then going from 500 feet altitude up to 67 feet, 6,700 feet altitude, his lungs weren't used to that. But I did get some good material out of it. Yeah, this is all the same material I pulled out up there. Some of it I'm not even going to ID because I don't know a lot of the material up in the mountain areas up there. This one here is Oregon. And I think it's a piece of Jasper that I got from Buddy Clayton. Turned out pretty good. I like it. I leave everything natural. I don't put the grinder on there to put shapes and everything on it because a lot of my customers like it natural. Just have the shine on it. There's a piece of agate I found up there on the upper Yellowstone. Ugly little beast but it took a nice good shine to it. And there's an, uh, This is red jasper from the upper Yellowstone so most of the jaspers are pretty much all the same don't matter where you find them. Red Jaspers, they take a heck of a shine. And this here, this is a fossil. This is from the Upper Peninsula in Michigan. I have a buddy who gave me a box of fossils, so I said, oh, let's tumble one and see what it does. Well, that's what they look like. It's from the sponge family. Probably 175 million years old. Took a nice polish. Should be another one in here somewhere, but this is from the upper Yellowstone. This has got some uh, mica in it too. Quartz, granite, there's the mica. A lot of mica up in that area. Tammy's got two or three nice pieces of mica. We just kind of left alone and didn't tell them. Here's a piece of, this is mica that I did tumble. And quartz, mica and quartz. Not too bad. You just never know what you're going to find up there. All kinds of material. Just taking your time to get your lungs used to the altitude. Nice quartz from the upper Yellowstone. Yeah, nice little agate I found up there. Not much to it. I guess I should have cut it, but I didn't. Kind of just threw it in to tumble it. Kind of the black sheep of the family it looks like. There's some more stuff from Upper Yellowstone. A little quartz. Got a little bit of mica in it. Not a lot. A 
this here. Yeah, this is from the upper Yellowstone too. A little bit of quartz. And here's another fossil. That's where I put it at. And this is another fossil from Michigan Upper Peninsula. And that's probably 175 million years old too. Turned out pretty good. I got about another box full. I'm going to start throwing in tumblers here and again and see what they come out as. They come out pretty nice. That's part of the sponge family too. This is some old, old Biggs Jasper. They call it Old Biggs. Highway 84 is right above it now. The pit don't exist anymore. Got a nice cab off of this guy here, but it's full of fractures and everything. I run some glue on there to stabilize it. it. Looks like it did a pretty good job on it, but you can see the fracture lines on it. So it wasn't worth cabbing. There might have been a guy could have probably pulled off cab over there, but nice material. Kind of look like porcelain, porcelain when you're done with it. Some pretty wild stuff. You can see right in here, like the formation shifted on it, dropped it down. So there was a shift in the patterns down below on the earth, like earthquakes, stuff like that. Who knows what was going on on the earth back then. No human would have been able to survive it, that's for sure. But Biggs always has his tall tale signs, like right up in there. Biggs is the only one that has that pattern. Yeah, I got some more to play with, so there's some dendries in there. Pretty nice. There you can see a shift right there. And the plate shift drop down. Pretty interesting material. There's a tall pattern. Designs on the bigs. Let's see what else we got here now. There's some petrified wood. I think this is from the local river here. The Willamette. Get a lot of good petrified wood out of there. It's got a little ag, it seems, going through it, agatized. This will be going to my collection. I kind of keep all the petrified wood as much as I can. So I'll put him right there. Nice Brazilian agate. Hold it up to the light. Kind of see what's going on with it there. It looks like my lens needs cleaned up. Yeah, I should have took it outside and showed you all, but lazy day today. Sometimes you got them going on, but look at all the water lines going through there. Pretty cool. Yeah, just a hunk of agate. I like Brazilian. It's a hard rock to cut. Probably about a seven five eight on the scale of hardness. There's some more petrified wood. This is from the local river too. Got a little lagget going through it, but takes a nice shine. Yeah. Petrified wood's probably about my favorite to roll. It'll be going in my little cubby box too. Here's some more petrified wood. And this one is a nice one. I cut off some of it right there, but you can see the rings. Pretty nice. I can't tell if this is black walnut. It's not oak, but nice piece. And I'll go in my collection. Uh, 
this is from Montana Yellowstone River petrified wood a lot of people kind of throw their petrified wood in the corner when they're hounding the Yellowstone River they're out for that big agate but I'll tell you what this material kicks butt too I love it need to get some more of this material I have to have my nephew Bruce send me some do a little horse trading back and forth that's how it works you barter here you barter there nice piece of petrified wood nice and heavy I like it takes a good shine sit there and you notice all kinds of different stuff going on with it and I think this might be oak takes a nice shine that's going in my collection now here is a piece of wood I didn't know if I wanted to tumble it or not it's pretty dark couldn't see nothing going on with it didn't start coming out until I put it on 600 grit but it is so carboned up. I thought, what do I want to look like if you cut it? But I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to leave it just like this. And then after the 600 grit, when I got it into the AO polish, aluminum oxide, you could tell it was petrified wood. The ring started popping on it, bringing out the beauty of the rock. Definitely a keeper here. There you can see the rings of the wood definitely a keeper I love it nice piece of wood surprised me something just told me to keep on polishing it it wasn't looking good and then all of a sudden pop there it was one thing about tumbling you got to be patient nice piece of petrified wood I like it I like it a lot that's going in my collection and this is the one I was talking about to people when we were up the upper Yellowstone sometimes you get a hold of a rock and it's like whoa and this is it I didn't think it turned out like this it was pretty dirty and a lot of stuff was built up on it this has got mica in it got quartz it's got granite this camera does not do it any justice at all quite heavy for its size it's probably I'd say a good pounder right there or a little over pound and a quarter so much stuff going on with it yeah upper Yellowstone when I'm talking upper Yellowstone it's north of Livingston between Livingston and Yellowstone Park. I'd say 25 miles from Yellowstone Park. And I'd say about another 20 miles from Livingston, somewhere in that area. But yeah, there's a little spot there. It ain't much, it's just a hole in the wall place by the river. And wife and I usually stop there and gather material up odds and ends material there not going to find the Montana moss I get there if you do you're going to find a rarity do you find all this mountain rock though pretty nice that's going in my collection too now this guy here everybody thought I was nuts for polishing it but yeah I stuck this big old beast in my polisher and tumbled it pretty nice and this is from Hollywood Ranch here in Sweet Home, Oregon. Petrified wood. I'm going to say it's a good four or five pounder. Turned out pretty good, didn't it? I knew it would. All natural.
And the key to that was uh, this was the biggest one of the bunch. Kind of mix it up a little bit. Put all different size rocks in here with it. It did a pretty good job. Stabilized itself. No hidden fractures or anything on it. Yeah, I was looking at it every week. Just wanted to make sure nothing was going to happen to it, but it was a beast. Got a nice shine going on with it. Yes, sir. Probably stick this one on a shelf for a while and look at it. Yeah, she's a beauty. So yes, don't let anybody tell you just to roll small stuff because the big stuff don't work. Here's the proof in the pudding that it does work. You just got to pay attention. Come out beautiful. I got three more pieces I'm going to do up like this. Pretty close to the same size, but there you go. And Put him back over here. So yeah. Got about three, four nice pieces out of the bunch there that I really like. So... Only took a month to tumble all of this. Got some keepers here. And got some other ones that are going to shop for later use down the road. And as always, thanks for looking.